Lesson 4, Creating ETL Process ETL, Extract, Transform and Load, is a process in database usage and especially in data warehousing that involves extracting data from outside sources, transforming it to fit operational needs, which can include quality levels, loading it into the end target, database or data warehouse. Part 1, Source Data Source data to be loaded into the data warehouse is a text file, Excel file and data from the database. Part 3, Create the Cease Project Open SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio On the File menu point to New and then select Project Select the Business Intelligence Project Project Type and select Integration Services Project Template Name your Project the text in the solution name box changes automatically to match the project name. Part 4. Loading data from other database. Drag data full task component from the toolbox to the grid. Change the name and double click the data flow task. In bids, on the toolbox menu, in the data flow sources group drag OLED DB source onto the data flow design surface. Click new twice. Choose Provider, Microsoft OLEDB Provider for SQL Server. Type the server name. Choose, Use SQL Server Authentication and type Login and Password. Select Save My Password. Choose Database. Click Test Connection and then click OK twice. Select the table from which to copy data and click OK. Change the name. In bids, on the toolbox menu, in the data flow destination group drag OLEDB destination onto the data flow design surface. Change the name. 
In the data flow designer, click the source data to select it and then drag its output, green arrow, onto the destination. Double click destination component and create the connection to the transactions database. Click new button and create new table. Click mappings tab and then click OK. Click control flow tab. Drag execute SQL task component from the dual box to the grid. Double click the execute SQL task. Select the appropriate connection. Choose false in bypass prepare property. Double click SQL statement and type truncate table San Francisco data. In the data flow designer, click the execute SQL task to select it and then drag its output green arrow, onto the data flow task. Save all. Part 5, Loading Data from Text File Drag Forge Loop Container component from the toolbox to the grid. Change the name. Drag Data Flow Task component from the toolbox to the Forge Loop container. Change component name. Double click the data flow task. In bids, on the toolbox menu, in the data flow sources group, drag flat file source onto the data flow design surface. In bids, on the toolbox menu, in the data flow destinations group, drag OLADB destination onto the data flow design surface. Double click flat file source and create new connection. In the connection manager name box and description box tape New York source data. Click browse and navigate to files. Click column names in the first data row. In the left pane, click columns. Click OK twice. In the data flow designer, click the flat file source to select it and then drag its output, green arrow, onto the OLADB destination. Double click OLADB destination. Then click new button to create new table. Type table name and click OK.
click Mappings tab and then click OK. Rename the components. Click Control Flow tab. Drag Execute SQL Task Component from the Toolbox to the Grid. Change the name and double click the Execute SQL Task. Select the appropriate connection. Choose false in bypass prepare property. Double click SQL statement and type truncate table New York data. Double click for Chloop container. Click Collection tab. Select Forge File Enumerator option. Click Browse button and navigate to Files. Type TXT Mask. Then click the Variable Mappings tab. In the variable drop down list box, select new variable. Type variable name and then click OK twice. Click New York Source Data Connection to select it. Click the ellipsis in the Expressions property. In the Property drop-down list, select Connection String. Click the ellipsis in the Expressions property. Choose User.New York var variable. Click OK and save all. Part 6, Loading Data from Excel File Drag Data Flow Task Component from the Toolbox to the Grid. Change the component name dot then double click Data Flow Task. Drag Excel source onto the data flow design surface. Drag OLADB destination onto the data flow design surface. Double click Excel source and create new connection. Click browse and navigate to files. Select the Excel sheet and click Columns. Change the component name. In the Data Flow Designer, click the Excel source to select it and then drag its output green arrow, onto the OLADB destination. Double click OLADB destination and then click new to create new table. Type table name, change files type and click OK.
click Mappings tab and then click OK. Sometimes you need to use the transformation. Drag data conversion onto the data flow design surface. Double click data conversion and select a few columns. Select the type of conversion for each field. Double click OLAY DB destination and change the column mapping. Drag execute SQL task component from the dual box to the grid. Change the name and double click the execute SQL task. Select the appropriate connection. Choose false in bypass prepare property. Double click SQL statement and type truncate table Chicago data. For testing purposes you can run the package. Part 7, Update the car's dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the car's dimension. Part 8. Update the salesman dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the salesman dimension. Part 9. Update the payment method dimension.
create the TSQL procedure to update the payment method dimension. Part 10, update the new or used dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the new or used dimension. Part 11, update the customer's dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the customer's dimension. Part 12, update the sales date dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the sales date dimension. Part 13, update the sales place dimension. Create the TSQL procedure to update the sales place dimension. Part 14, loading dimension tables by using CIS package. Drag execute SQL task component from the toolbox to the grid. Change the component name. Then double click data flow task. Select the appropriate connection. Choose false in bypass prepare property. Double click SQL statement and enter the previously developed TSQL procedures. Connect the components. Part 15, insert data from Chicago table into the fact table. Create a procedure that will transform data from Chicago table and inserts them into the fact table. Part 16, insert data from New York table into the fact table. Create a procedure that will transform data from New York table and inserts them into the fact table. Part 17, insert data from San Francisco table into the fact table.
create a procedure that will transform data from San Francisco table and inserts them into the fact table. Part 18, Loading Facts Table Add another execute SQL task component. Type the procedures which insert data into facts table. Connect the components. Part 19, add an analysis services processing task. Add an analysis services processing task. Then double click the component. Change the name and description. Click the processing settings tab and then click new. Click edit and then build condition string. Click cat button and select the cube you want to process. Connect the components and save cease package. The ATL process is ready. Check the package. Run it. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com